Linda Trotter is facing the fight of her life. She has breast cancer, and after having a lumpectomy, she will have chemotherapy and radiation. But she has no doubt that she will beat it. Well, I have real good confidence that the chemo is going to kick it out. I mean, I, um, it's a preventive uh, in case any of the cancer has gotten into other parts of the body by the bloodstream because there was in one lymph node. But um, I believe that the chemo will work. And then she's already told me we're going to do radiation afterwards just in case. Hi, Linda. How have you been doing? Linda's surgeon is Dr. Jennifer Reed. She says advancements in breast cancer treatment include minimally invasive surgery that offers the same survival rates as traditional surgery. In the past, the long past, it was a radical mastectomy where you took all the lymph nodes up underneath the patient's arm, you took the breast, and you took the chest muscle. That was pretty invasive, severe procedures and very debilitating for the patients. It then went to doing a mastectomy where you just took the breast and the lymph nodes, but no muscle. Now with partial mastectomy and radiation, we can allow equal survival to a mastectomy. So it's now gotten to the point where we can do minimal surgery and have the same outcome. It's really nice for patients because now they can maintain their breast. She called me up on the phone at home and said it is malignant, we need to do schedule the surgery. So we did the surgery and um, there's a small scar about maybe five inches long underneath my armpit um, that you can hardly even see. With the advancements in imaging such as breast MRI, ultrasound and digital mammography, the chances of catching breast cancer early are much better. Our current treatments are so much better than they used to be. The survival is so much better. The cure rate is much, much better. Good news to the ears of women like Linda, who have no doubt they'll win the fight against breast cancer. This is Janet Vassell reporting.